Hello everyone, it's been a while since the last vocation, well, uh, showcase. Today it is Gadabout, also known as Goof Off, also known as Clown, or Bunny Girl, or female. So this is a very unique vocation, more of like a joke vocation, though it does have its uses. The Gadabout can use sword, dagger, hammer, boomerang, usual fist, shield, and her unique skill line is called play. To be honest, I am not sure what weapons Gadabouts tend to use, but from what I've seen so far, they seem to favor boomerang and hammer. Now, the play line gives them access to Lucky Dip, which allows them to play a play action, which is basically a random ability. It could be devastating, it could be useless, it could even put you to sleep. You got Whimsical Action, which is basically anytime you do anything that isn't a Lucky Dip or play action, like you do a standard attack, there's a chance you'll do a whimsical action. Uh, and honestly, at some point, as you go down the skill line, you're going to do a whimsical action after every attack. You also get Whistle, something similar to Monster Master, which can call another enemy to join the battle. Tongue Lash, which can immobilize an enemy. It's got a decent rate. The ever-popular Puff Puff, which can charm enemies to have them basically stop attacking you. Seriously Lucky Dip, when you utilize this, this buffs your play actions for duration, making them much stronger depending on what, well, what comes out. Tongue Bashing, now this can be very useful. It can reduce the enemy's defense to zero. Now, this can be a very powerful skill as long as the success rate is high. I'm pretty sure there's a Master Orb that raises this one's success rate. Uh, reducing an enemy's defense at zero is no joke. Uh, that's fantastic for physical DPS classes. You get Follow Suit which reduces and reflects damage taken, so not only will it reduce damage taken by you, it'll also reflect it all. And then seriously whimsical as your ultimate skill. It boosts your whimsical actions. It pretty much basically the stuff that you do after each attack. For hammer, you got your usuals. Now, Gadabout is... It's considered a support attacker vocation. Though mainly more like support. But generally, it's not an easy vocation to use. You will get lucky at times and even do an attack that hits for maximum damage of 9,999 for you. And with Hammer, you can be more of the supportive side, reducing defense, stunning, and other things that Hammer is able to do. But once again, this is more of a joke vocation. Uh, they do get bonus skill points since they cannot partake in training mode. So they do get bonus skill points to make it easier to max out skills. But once again, generally it is more of a joke vocation, but it does have its uses. That again, that particular action, the lower defense down at zero, can be highly useful, and with Hammer, you can reduce de defense with that too, in between it. So you're pretty much more so like a debuffer as a Gadabout. And this is of course a Gadabout class armor. And if you go to poses here, please, yep, here it is. Iron Man of Play is the Gadabout pose.
All right, let's get this started. Oh, as for the emblem, we forgot about. This is the chance of a whimsical. So now your whimsical chance is pretty much 100%. Honestly, I don't even think the emblem is really needed so long as you max out your skill, because I was getting a whimsical action after almost every attack without the emblem. down again. This is damn it. defense further. Already dead. Hocus Pocus. I'm sure a lot of you know what that is. Basically, I'll do a random action. It gave me Divine Blessing, it looks like. Also, this preset did it. No, it gave me a mana MP regen. Okay.
Let's get about. So to sum it up, Gadabout is a light armor wearing vocation that can use two pretty useful supportive weapons. They have a very powerful debuff that's excellent if you have mainly melee DPS in your party. Their play actions can either be beneficial or could be a detriment to the player itself. Uh, thankfully, there were no detriments there. Uh, Damage-wise, I can rate them about a 6 out of 10 for damage, compared to the other vocations. And they're mainly for support, and that one powerful debuff. But if used correctly, you can even stun lock enemies, so long as your play actions keep going off right. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Next one is likely going to be Superstar or Pirate. I'll see you next time.